Hi, Todd Ward here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead. And once again today, we're looking at lots of sunshine across the Arklatex as uh, we do have a weak front which is going to push through the area here in the next 24 hours, but it will not do anything to produce anything significant as far as clouds nor rain and really won't cool us off either. Here's a look at the next couple of days. Actually, let's look at the weather pattern first of all. And you can see, uh, again, one disturbance moving out. Here comes the next short wave here moving into the Midwest and the associated front, which is uh, now moving across the Midwest. We will see uh, the rain, uh, the clouds associated with this probably stay to the north and east of the Arkletex as this uh, quick disturbance makes its way through the middle of the country. So let's look at the next few days here with Robbins Toyota Futurecast. And you can see that during the nighttime hours tonight, we're going to be looking at a clear sky across the Arklatex. Bit of a south to southwesterly wind will help to keep temperatures from dropping as low as they've been over the last couple of nights. Tomorrow, we will see plenty of sunshine. You can see the wind becoming north, more northwesterly uh, late in the day tomorrow, but also notice nothing significant as far as clouds for tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we will see a clear sky and temperatures again will be fairly close to normal, maybe a little bit warmer than tonight. And then heading through Thursday, we will see plenty of sunshine. Just a few clouds mix again with that sunshine late in the day come Thursday. Longer range version of Futurecast does show another front which will make its way into the area Friday night. So let's take Futurecast through Thursday night. Again, looking mostly clear. Friday, a warm day with a southwesterly wind. We'll see highs back up into the lower 70s. Notice the wind shift here. The front located just north of I-30 late Friday, and that front will dive its way southward Friday night. As of right now, rainfall chances with this front also looking very slim. It does appear as if we will see a promising chance for heavier rain towards the middle part of next week. Here's a look at uh, the uh, forecast for the next 10 days and the weather pattern here. You can see the persistent troughing across the uh, southeastern sections of Canada that occasionally will extend south into the United States. We have this ridge here along the west coast and this pattern typically results in drier conditions for us. Uh, this is the front that this model shows could bear some rain for Friday night, Saturday. But uh, rainfall chances for our area probably less than 10% as most models showing us staying dry. And then heading into next week. Now you might recall yesterday this particular model sent this disturbance to the south and west and settling it off the coast of Southern California and then moving it across. Now watch what it shows. It shows it moving into the middle of the country and pushing uh, a, quite a bit of rain into our area heading into the middle part of next week. So we now have pretty good model agreement on the timing of this and decent model agreement on how much rain we might see uh, during the middle part of next week. You can see most models at most locations showing at least an inch. The GFS still a bit on the dry side, but again, the majority of the models showing a good inch, inch and a half pretty much anywhere across the Oracle text with most of this happening next Wednesday and Thursday. So your forecast for tonight in the meantime is looking clear and it is looking a bit on the cold side as we'll see lows that will settle into the low to middle 30s north to the mid 30s south, 37 tonight in Shreveport, 35 in Texarkana, 30 the cold spot in the Queen. Tomorrow we will see plenty of sunshine and temperatures will continue to warm up as we'll see highs mainly in the upper 60. 68 in Shreveport, 67 in Texarkana, 68 degrees also for the daytime high tomorrow in Marshall. 10 day forecast shows 70s on the way for Thursday and especially Friday with the southwesterly wind. We will see a pretty nice Valentine's Day with uh, temperatures warming up into the 60s after cooler temperatures arrive this weekend. And there's that good shot for showers with maybe a little bit of thunder Wednesday and Thursday. Not too concerned about severe weather at this point as we'll see uh, temperatures cool off late next week behind that midweek disturbance with highs retreating back to the 50s and lows eventually settling back into the 30s. So all in all, it does appear as if we will see lots of sunshine for the rest of the work week. A bit of a cool down this weekend, warm up next week, and our next best chance of rain by the middle part of next week.